Hello, this is Mr. Cornelius. This is Chapter 15 lecture on the New Deal. This is Section 2, the second New Deal takes hold. By 1935, the economy had not improved as much as Roosevelt had hoped, so he moved on with uh, further ideas, trying to get things stimulated. This time, in the second New Deal, he is going to concentrate on helping farmers and helping workers. His wife, the First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt, is very important in this, as she is the one walking around the countryside, getting people's feedback and input and bringing them back to him. Remember, the President has polio, cannot walk himself, so she is known as the legs of the President. In 1936, the President Roosevelt is re-elected, uh, still with huge majorities in both houses. This is the first election African Americans vote Democratic. They had voted Republican since the Civil War. Uh, and this is also the first time the unions uh, publicly uh, support a presidential candidate, and that is because of all the pro-union work that uh, Roosevelt did in the first New Deal. Remember from the Great Depression, farmers were hit especially hard. Uh, the second New Deal concentrated on helping them out. Uh, 1936 Soil and Conservation and Domestic Allotment Act uh, rewarded farmers for using soil conservation, planting things on ground that they weren't going to plant, let's say, corn on to keep the soil there, the topsoil there, so it didn't blow away like we had the problem at the Dust Bowl. Uh, a new AAA is passed without the unconstitutional provision. There are also many other legislation pieces that help farmers uh, move along, either to buy new land, pay for the land they already have, or uh, just to get um, you know, people out to work, people that were farmers out to work uh, in other uh, aspects. Urban workers, people living in the city, the Works Progress Administration creates jobs. Not necessarily jobs that um, were needed, but important jobs that create infrastructure in the United States, especially in cities. WPA builds airports, roads, buildings, uh, this gets people to work, this gets money in the economy, and gets the machine uh, started working and moving again. A uh, place to, for kids, the National Youth Administration basically works on, on getting kids skills uh, to work uh, later on. Okay, And they do this and they pay for this through part-time work while they're going through these uh, programs. The Wagner Act, very important for labor. Okay, This replaces the unconstitutional NIRA basically protects unions' rights to unionize, uh, protects the collective bargaining rights of unions. Collective bargaining, again, is for a small number of people to uh, bargain for the whole of a union. And it also prohibits unfair labor practices of management. Okay, the Fair Labor Standards Act also sets maximum hours and a minimum wage. A really important aspect of the Second New Deal was the Social Security Act. Again, this is an uh, old age or a retirement pension for, for those that have, have met the age requirement of 65 years. Um, and basically it was, it was a steady income for those people that retired uh, that may not have had uh, anything beforehand. Okay, uh, we talked about Dr. Francis Townsend was a, was a critic of Roosevelt because he believed this, something like this, was necessary. And with the Social Security Act of 1935, it happened. It also helps those that are unemployed. Okay, it also helps those that cannot work and their children uh, to get along. So, Social Security Act definitely an um, important aspect of the New Deal. Um, regulating utilities. Okay, the Rural Electrification Administration uh, brings electricity to farms, uh, and basically, it also brings things to uh, anyone in the rural area. Outside the city, the TVA is an example of the Rural Elect Electrification Administration. Um, people do not necessarily like this, especially uh, municipal uh, utility companies, because they felt that it's hard for a private entity, a private company, to compete against something that is run by the government, and that, that's definitely true. 
Uh, but the idea here was it pr promotes jobs, provides jobs, provides money, and also uh, allows the infrastructure, the electrical uh, wires and things, and houses to uh, to be brought up to uh, current levels in terms of technology. And that was what was important. Okay, the Public Utility Holding Company Act basically uh, stops the financial uh, corruption of um, utility companies uh, and keeps them from gouging their customers. So that's all for section two. Um, if you have any questions, ask. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, see you later. Thank you.